hello and welcome to this video tutorial in the previous tutorial we try to make a slider and uh, using animate function so I thought of moving with uh, some of uh, the other um, effects in jQuery and I thought of creating a plugin uh, but then uh, one of the um, requests that I got was to create an Ajax page um, using jQuery so I thought I'll stop all the animate and effects um, using jQuery and I'll start off with an Ajax page so in a very simple way Ajax is nothing but calling another page or executing some kind of an action without um, the page being actually uh, posted or without refreshing the page so that is um, basically what Ajax is so this is the index.php page and I'll be calling Ajax.php and fetching certain data from Ajax.php um, without uh, refreshing index.php so that is what we are going to do and that is all about um, Ajax so first of all I'll open my HTML tags then I'll open body tag then uh, uh, before body tag I need to open the head tag um, and inside the head tag I have to include jQuery's library so uh, in the previous tutorial that means um, in the slider tutorial we had actually incorporated um, the jQuery library in our server but this time we are not going to do it that way instead we'll be uh, using uh, utilizing the library which is present uh, to us from which is given to us uh, from Google so uh, this is the code uh, this is a website called W3 schools now if you go to this website or oh, there are many other websites uh, wherein you can get this um, this is where I took um, this thing so this is um, the same jQuery library um, it is an older one uh, but still I'll choose this um, now this is uh, from Google APIs Ajax API so we are cop going to copy this and then we are going to pa paste it over here now what we are going to what we did over here is that we have included jQuery which is provided by Google or uh, which is uh, a Google API now the reason why I have included this is that um, including scripts uh, in this manner is is much faster than including script from your server the reason is that Google will cache these pages and it, it is much faster than our server so I mean obviously it is superior to our server Google servers are much better than our servers now um, now the next thing that I'm gonna do is um, okay now inside the body tag I'm gonna create a diff of ID Let's say something like uh, um, Ajax and then uh, I'm gonna close it okay now uh, I'm gonna create another script tag type equal text okay it's all caps so I'll just uh, script type equals text text slash javascript and I'll close it and inside this script tag I'm gonna create my jQuery um, code so the first thing that I'm gonna do is check if the document is ready so document dot ready and then inside that I have to write a function now the function doesn't have any parameters passed to it so the the bracket that I've highlighted is blank or, or it is empty now here is a core functionality now before everything uh, writing the core functionality it is better to have a test so I'll just um, alert something and then I'll go to my um, my um, uh, Firefox and type in uh, the address to localhost ajax slash okay so I have that alert box over here so this means that the code is working now the next thing that I'm gonna do is uh, write in the ajax codes okay so Ajax code. Instead of typing in the Ajax code, I'll I'll go to um, jQuery.com, and then uh, from jQuery.com, I'll simply copy paste um, the Ajax code, uh, which is really easy. Um, yeah. So uh, it's supposed to be a search over here. Okay. So I'll go Google um, jQuery. jQuery Ajax. So okay, now uh, this is our official API for um, jQuery Ajax. So okay, now I'll go down. Uh, okay, 
now I have I, I have I'd used some very basic jQuery Ajax request um, from these pages I don't know where okay that it is so this is the basic um, Ajax um, um, code that we are going to execute so I'll explain this but for the time being I'm going to copy this then I'm going to paste it over here so okay now this is uh, the basic Ajax request now uh, we type in dollar Ajax then inside Ajax we have basically a couple of parameters that are passed um, now the first parameter is type now if you if you have a form over here say suppose I have a form over here and I'm and uh, I typing like this um, something like the input type equals text or uh, uh, sorry uh, form um, method equals post okay and then I type in um, name equals name equals uh, test and I close the form so if you want to take um, the data from this particular uh, form and then post it to another page then the type variable over here will be post and if it is a get okay now if it is get then it should be get over here so I think that's clear now um, we won't be going too much into this but uh, we don't want to post or we don't want to get um, anything over here uh, we'll simply um, grab some information from this page that is ajax.php and display it onto index so we'll uh, for the time being we'll um, delete this now the URL is the page where we want to call the Ajax request so we want to call make an Ajax call to ajax.php so we type in ajax.php and the data that we want to pass uh, is nothing we want we are not going to pass any data um, to ajax.php so we are going to delete this data and uh, okay now success okay now the these code over here now what these code over here or the, the the highlighted code says is that okay suppose if the ajax call to ajax.php is a success then um, the message or uh, ajax.php will return us some kind of a message okay so that is stored inside this uh, variable over here which is msg or I can take something like um, that is ajax okay oh, uh, now I, I have saved it in ajax um, in a variable called ajax and then I'm going to alert it okay the save data or uh, the data that I've got is uh, the data from ajax s and then the variable over here okay so this is nothing but um, I'm simply calling um, typing an Ajax uh, function over here so inside the functions I have a couple of parameters the first parameter is uh, URL I mean this is a basic Ajax so the basic thing that you need to have as a URL wherein uh, you point or uh, you say okay this is a URL where I want to make an Ajax call so this is the URL I mean okay this is the URL and um, and if I have successfully made an Ajax request I'll get a, a variable I'll get a message which will be saved inside this particular variable okay now if I if that is a success go to this particular function inside inside these bracket okay so I'm gonna alert uh, do something which is nothing but alert the variable that I've got from ajax.php uh, so that is what I'm gonna do now uh, we'll open ajax.php now ajax.php doesn't have anything uh, so we'll type in okay we'll type in something like uh, echo okay before that I have to open my PHP tags PHP close PHP then echo this uh, this is my first ajax request okay now this is okay this is my first Ajax request okay now what I'm gonna get is if these codes over here are correct then I'm gonna get this data okay in index.php inside the variable Ajax 
okay so this is what I'm gonna do um, now I'm gonna go to my f um, my web browser and gonna refresh the page so I've got, got the data the data is from Ajax as this is my first Ajax request so here what I've done is I've got the data from from ajax.php and I've alerted the thing now I don't want to alert it instead I want to place this particular data inside Ajax this particular div now the way I'm gonna do that is put a dollar sign and then I'm gonna give um, a hash which indicates that I'm gonna target an ID the name of the ID is Ajax and I want to place the data which comes which is present inside this particular variable into this uh, in, in inside this um, ID so in our okay sorry it's HTML uh, Ajax okay and now we'll see what's gonna happen now we'll go to the f um, browser and refresh the page and I have uh, this coming over here now to make sure that this is an Ajax request the only thing that you have to do is go to um, go to the source code of the page if to get the source code you have to hit the control key and then press U so you get the source code now if you look at the source code what you have over here is div ID of Ajax and you close the div but then you don't have anything over here w but it is not the case over here you see something over here right so which is inside the ID now if I inspect element you can see it over here inside div ID of Ajax I have this particular um, code I mean uh, the writing over here but then in, in the actual source code I don't have it the reason why I have it is something like this is that the Ajax request is making a call to Ajax.php and then it is inserting the data which is present inside this variable into this particular div so that is um, a basic Ajax request. Now there are there are some disadvantages uh, when you t when you do uh, your website with Ajax. Um, now one of the major disadvantages that uh, uh, is um, that as a problem is that um, it, it it becomes really difficult uh, for search engine to to crawl the pages. Now this is one of my one of the website that I've I've just made. Now um, this is a completely Ajax based website. Um, I mean everything that you select over here will trigger an Ajax request and the data which comes over here is uh, is basically an Ajax um, um, data that comes over here now if I take um, the source code of this particular page what I have over here is nothing but okay th these are all Ajax functions okay nothing to worry about that uh, though the actual data that comes over here is uh, is, uh, is inside this particular box in in a box now the problem with this is that um, when Google crawls my web page what happens is that it won't be able to get the data over here so one of the major disadvantage of using Ajax request is that it is really bad um, that um, your pages I mean the pages of your website won't be crawled by Google there are some tweaks um, there are some methods by which you can make Google crawl Ajax pages which I'll be dealing in a later tutorial so um, I hope uh, this uh, tutorial is good enough um, you learned something from this so thank you uh, for watching this tutorial have a great day thank you